it's so neat. And you, you, you think about it. It's, it's like they have to be. They have to be arguably as good as any duo that ever played in mid-major basketball, right? I, I can't believe that there was a duo better than them. And, and the thing that made it so neat to me, Sam, was that they, when they, you know, they won everything. I mean, and we didn't win anything until they got here, you know? And, and uh, see those guys? See, we had all the pieces. That, that's what was neat with Hayne and Scotty Jones, and I can name all the names, you know who they are. They, they were great. They were, we had all these pieces, so we knew we had a chance to be good. But in order to be really good, in order to be championship caliber and to win three in a row, you need a great player. And we had two. It was unbelievable. I mean, I, I, and I would just pinch myself on the God and say, TB, <laughs> look what happened here. Look what happened. Four years in a row we won the MVP, won in a tournament every year. So where, where they brought it, where they brought the program and started to take it was just unbelievable. Now, the other guys have just kept it up. But to do it first, that's never going to go away, you know. And for these two guys, they were so good together. They were just so good. And, uh, and like I said, they were, we had two great players. And, you know, if, if, uh, if you don't win championships and you've got two great players, you should look in the mirror. <laughs> well, we, I, I obviously, they're dear friends. Uh, at least I consider them dear friends. I hope they feel the same way about me. But I go watch Taylor play all the time uh, as much as I can. He's coaching now in high school. I take a weekend and go to Brown every year, you know, to see my boy down there. But it was funny. When it, when it came out, uh, I texted him and I said, you know, uh, I've, been, I've been wanting to say this for a long time, and I can say it publicly now. You guys were really great. You were great, both of you.